never tell me so Oh no Well I know you love me baby But you never tell me so My name is Kat Riggins and I'm from Miami, Florida. I was born and raised there. And um, I like to say that we make blues fusion. We love the blues. I love the blues. I don't want to speak for everybody in the band because they have their own mouths. But um, the blues to me is something that I grew up with along with many other genres of music in my house. Um, but what stuck was the blues because of the voice that I grew up with I even as a little girl I had a very deep voice very raspy voice and I love to sing but the music that identified with me and that I identified with was the blues to be with the one you love, yeah. Woo! that first blues song that trapped my heart was Tina Turner was singing the blues but it was, um, darling, I, I love you. Darling, I love you. I know you love me, baby. So we're going to do that tonight in our set, but it's, that's the one. Because her voice, she's, remember when she was with Ike back, back in the days before, she would do more blues and R&B than, than the rock and roll that she does now. And I love everything, Tina. She can do no wrong. She can do no wrong. So, but when she did the blues, everything around me stopped. So that was it. Tina Turner, Darling I Love You was the first blues song that made me fall in love with it. Got a heart full of trouble, house full of sin, things as bad as they ever been. If trouble were my name, I'd have more money than any man should. I was a bartender before singing for 13 years um, and this, it was something that I did to put food on the table I like to eat I'm a growing girl so um, the cash was easy and it was fast um, but it wasn't what my heart wanted to do you know and and life was not as easy as it should have been with as much money as the bartending was bringing in so finally one day I got the hint, you know, sometimes I'm hard-headed. So I got the hint, I felt like God was telling me, if you just do what I put you here to do, life would be so much easier. So just put down the bottles, get out from behind the bar, pick up the microphone, and sing. The blues is my business, and business is good, yeah. Thank you so much. Make some noise for my boys. I like to speak my future out loud because I, I believe in prayer um, to God. I'm very spiritual. I wouldn't call myself religious, you know. I, I read the Bible, I go to church, but I'm not there every Sunday, but every day I pray, you know. And so I don't worry about my future because I pray and prayer and worry don't go together. So my future is gonna be music. It is music already, because it's already there. I'm just not, I'm not there yet. So I see us traveling more as a band. I see us growing more. Um, currently I am working on another album and it's gonna be more bluesy than the first one. And I'm naming it after the band, Blues Revival, because I feel like the future for us will be more blues fans. That's what my goal is. I want to reawaken the blues because you're, the days when that's what it was, that was a big thing, you know, that's, that was mainstream. I don't know if that will come back, but whenever I look out into my crowd and I see younger and younger faces, it makes me happy because those faces are going to pass on the blues to another generation and another generation, and that means it won't be extinct. I'm not alone, they play the blues. Yes, they do. Said I live across the street from the juice joint, baby. I'm not alone, they play the blues. All right. Oh, and when they get to playing, honey, it makes me think of you. 
I identify with the songs that I sing. That's why I choose them. Um, because I, the song moved me to begin with. You know, the covers that we do, um, we, we do covers, not copies. I like to say that. Because it's not exactly how it was done by the original artist. But they moved me in some way or another to identify with them. So that's why I chose the songs. The songs that I write have something to do with life. My life, somebody's close to me. Um, there's a song called Cry Sometimes that I wrote for my first album. And it's, I wrote it for my best friend because she's tough, you know, a tough girl and she never cries. And so one time she broke down because she couldn't help it. So sometimes you get so f full of sadness and tears until it start. you can't help but it, it overflows. So that's why I wrote that song. So that's what, um, you know, what I get out of it is what other people get out of it. You know, when I'm on stage, if I feel the crowd feeling it, then that fills me up. You know, the crowd reaction fills me up. The song itself fills me up. My musicians, Blues Revival, those guys, you'll see, those guys are amazing. And they give me energy from, from back here. The crowd gives me energy from here and I get spiritual energy from there. So I'm energized all over. That's what I get out of it. Daddy, you know I ain't gonna do nothing I ain't supposed to do. Baby, that's good for my imagination. Cause you know I can count on you. Say, I've been this way too long to change now. You're gonna have to there are a lot of um, artists that influence my approach to music. My mother, my mother, like I said, she played a lot of um, music in our house, and it went from blues to soul to R&B, country music even, some rock and roll, rap, like salt and pepper. Oh, my mother used to love salt and pepper. So, you know, I was influenced by those greats, but other than Tina Turner, Tina Turner is one of the people that if I ever met her, I would not know what to say. I've met pe many people, you know, and I, and it's a pleasure always to meet people that I consider famous, like Mr. Primer, and to shake their hands, and um, Joey Gilmore to me is a, another big name. I've met, you know, Shamikia Copeland, and, and, you know, just big people. I can meet Janet Jackson tomorrow, shake her hand, give her a hug, and have no problem. But if I met Tina Turner, you know, nothing. So it would be her, Janis Joplin, um, Denise LaSalle. My approach on stage is a lot, it's gritty, it's dirty like that. And it's very um, interactive, like Etta James, you know, very interactive with the crowd. I love to connect not only through the song and, and spiritually, I like to connect physically with the crowd. I'll go out and touch somebody's hand. You know, I love doing that. So that came from watching and listening to Etta James and, and Denise LaSalle and people like that, that are bold enough to actually get down in the, the gutter and be there with them and feel that, that heat. You don't tell me that you love me. I'm gonna ease on down the road. Thank you. Woo. Thank you so much.